the censorship press and postal act 18th of august 1914 section 1 short title this act may be cited as the censorship press and postal act section 2 interpretation in this act press censor means the person or persons for the time being appointed by the governor general to perform the duties of press censor under this act section 3 the governor general may at any time which he shall deem to be a time of emergency forfeit by proclamation the publication of all information with respect to troops ships aircraft or war material or the plans to the naval or military authorities or to any measure taken for or connected with the defense of the commonwealth of any part thereof and also any statement comment or suggestion calculated directly or indirectly to convey any such information that the governor general may forbid publication etc of information with respect to troops etc section 4 from and after the publication of any such pe periodic pe pro proclamations and while such proclamation remain in force, a. Any owner, publisher, printer, or editor of any newspaper, magazine, book, pamphlet, or any publication who without the consent in writing of the press censor first had and obtain knowingly publishes any information, statement, or comment, or suggestion forbidden by the said proclamation and so it talks about newspaper magazine book pamphlet no mention of radio well internet was far way ahead of their time at that time but anyway b any person who without the consent in writing of the press censor first had and obtained sells or delivers or is concerned in the sale or delivery of any newspaper magazine book pamphlet or other publication knowing it to contain or who is otherwise knowingly responsible for the publication of any information statement comment or suggestion forbidden by such proclamation shall be guilty of an offence under this act and shall be liable to summary conviction before a resident magistrate court to a fine not exceeding one thousand dollars and in default of payment to such fine to imprisonment with or without hard labor for a term not exceeding six months or in the case of a second or subsequent offence to either such fine with such imprisonment in default or to imprisonment with or without hard labor for a period for a term not exceeding 12 months so if you work with the press or you are somebody else who divulges information about troops and secret other secret information during a state of emergency you must pay one thousand dollars or spend six months in prison Section 5. Guilty knowledge presumed. In any proceedings under Section 4, the accused shall be deemed, unless the contrary is proven, to have had the knowledge referred to in the said section. Duration of Proclamation. Section 6. Any proclamation under this act shall be deemed to be in force 
until revoked by order of the Governor General. So basically they can censor the press during a state of emergency. It would be harder to do so nowadays because persons individually can send out information and it reaches very fast over so social media. But we continue. Section 7, letters, etc. may be opened, detained or delayed by officer in post office. Any letter, book, pamphlet or parcel in course of transmission by post or any island telegram may at any time, whether any proclamation as in this act mentioned has been published or is in force or not be opened, detained, or delayed by an officer of the post office in obedience to an express warrant in writing under the hand of the Governor General. <laughs> Talking about post office and parcel. Nowadays people communicate by email and instant messages. Yeah, these acts very much outdated. Section 8 Prosecution only with the consent of the Director of Public Prosecution. A prosecution for an offence under this act shall not be instituted except by or with the consent of the Director of Public Prosecution. Provided that a person charged with such an offence may be arrested or a warrant for his arrest may be issued and executed and any such person may be remanded in custody or on bail notwithstanding that the consent of the Director of Public Prosecution to the institution of a prosecution for the offence has not been obtained but no further or other proceedings shall be taken until that consent has been obtained so if you should be prosecuted under this act it must be with the consent of the director of public prosecution <laughs> 